Hi everyone, this is a revision clip from the Business Studies Department at Blair Gary High School. This clip is for National 5 and Higher Business students with the topic being Marketing and the Product Lifecycle and for Higher Students Extension Strategies. We can easily remember the six stages in life of a product using the acronym DIGMSD. The six stages are Development, Introduction, Growth, Maturity, Saturation and finally Decline. During a development stage for a product, the initial idea is created or the initial concept is worked out by the entrepreneur or the business. They'll often create prototypes or models and they'll test these on samples or in focus groups to get some feedback. The product has not been launched at this stage, so there are no sales. During the introduction stage, the product is first launched onto the market. Sales will of course begin usually very low and the business usually invests quite heavily in advertising to draw attention to the product now that it's being sold. During the growth stage, the sales of the product will increase very quickly as the product becomes very popular amongst customers and consumers. The business will usually continue to advertise heavily to capitalise on the growth stage and the popularity of the product. During the maturity stage, sales reach their peak. This means that they're highest they're likely to be for the business. At this stage, we may consider the product being a market leader. And for higher students only, this is when a business would consider using some extension strategies. During the saturation stage, everyone has the product, everyone who wants it at least has it. Therefore, sales may start to decline very slightly or show that the growth stage is definitely finished for the business. The business should consider a new advertising strategy or a price change. Finally, products end up in the decline stage. During this stage, sales fall rapidly of a product. Customers usually are dissatisfied with the product or have moved on to something else. The business may consider very low pricing in order to get rid of any excess stock. We use a diagram known as a product life cycle to show the life of a product. We stick with our six stages, even at National 5, to ensure we fully understand the six steps. You may in the National 5 or higher exam be asked to use the case study to work out which stage of the product life cycle a particular product is at. I would recommend that you look for keywords or phrases to help you. So the phrase sales are increasing very quickly would show you you're in the growth stage. Everyone already has the product, saturation, and any mention of sales decreasing would think of the decline stage. The next section is for higher students only, so National 5 students, you can finish listening now, or you may wish to listen for some more challenging material which will be useful for you at higher. At higher, we may be asked to go further than just the product life cycle and be asked to suggest extension strategies. This is anything a business would do to stop a product entering the saturation or decline stage or simply what they could do to remain in the growth stage. Companies such as Coca-Cola, for example, seem to continually grow and grow and do not enter the decline stage. Many popular examples include the use of advertising as an extension strategy. More advertising will attract more customers and get more sales. Some businesses choose instead to opt for upgrades or add-ons. Think of the iPhone. We went from the iPhone now to the iPhone 7 in the near future, I'm very sure. The same product, but by constantly adapting, it will attract new customers. Other businesses might consider changing the use of their product. Lucozade went from being a medicinal drink to a drink that many people choose for sports or as an energy drink. A rebranding of the use of the product. The business might also consider adapting the price, either decreasing the price temporarily to get more sales 
or perhaps increasing the price to give an idea of luxury and exclusivity to attract high-end customers to buy a particular product. It should be noted that changes of price should be temporary. Instead, some businesses opt to perhaps change the packaging of the product. Walkers opted to turn the colours of cheese onion and salt and vinegar on their heads. Some businesses might also opt to change the name of their product. A Snickers bar was once a marathon, Starburst were once opal fruits. A new name can attract new customers or show new energy for a product. And finally, some businesses may consider a new retailing method, such as moving to selling the product online or in new stores or supermarkets they've not sold them before.